In this walkthrough, we will cover the updates available to you with RepairQ 1.13. Included in this update are QSite, the latest RepairQ companion app, accounting journal entries, QuickBooks online integration, and a couple point of sale improvements. QSite is the newest RepairQ companion app, which provides new ways for your customers to engage with your store. The first feature released under QSite provides an easy way for your customers to check their ticket status on demand. There's very little setup required, and it's optimized for mobile view. Keep in mind, this is the first round of QSite, and development is already underway for improvements and additional features. First, we will demonstrate how QSite performs from a customer's perspective. Let's assume you have built your ticket for the customer, completed the repair, and blasted off both a text and an email letting them know their device is ready for pickup. Your notifications are completely customizable, but here's an example of what your customer would get as an email, and a text message. They would simply click the link and be routed to your queue site. The ticket status page shows a brief summary of the ticket, the current status, balance due, and when it was last updated. Ticket notes, one-click phone calls to the store, and one-click directions for the store are also available to the customer for quick and easy engagement. The interactions on a desktop view are very similar. When you click on the link in the email or the SMS, you'll be routed to your queue site page where you're able to view ticket status, notes, location, and directions as well. Now let's talk about setting up your queue site and giving customers access to it. First, we will show you how to upload your logo images to the library. Head over to settings and scroll down to the other section. Click on branding image library and upload any images you want displayed. Then head over to the branding section and select the image you want displayed for your customer portal and update. Now let's head over to the receipt print settings. Click to edit the location, scroll towards the bottom and select either or both show URL and show QR code then save it. You can do the same thing for invoices. Now, when you go to print a receipt, that info will be on the printed copy. Awesome! Now we will set up Repair Queue to trigger the URL to show in text messages and emails. So let's head to Settings and then Notifications. You should have a few in there already that you can tweak. So let's go ahead and edit the ticket SMS one. It may be called something different if you change the name. Feel free to word everything however you like, but you'll notice there is now a ticket status URL shortcode you can embed in your messages, both for SMS and email. Other integration options will be available by request during a beta period. Those options include HTML and JavaScript code to embed on your company's website and API access. Contact our support team for more information. Now on to the accounting journal. The accounting journal feature gives accountants and bookkeepers a simple way to match the RepairQ accounting data with prepared journal records ready for export from RepairQ and import into most accounting systems. RepairQ generates journal entries for sales, payments, cost of goods sold, inventory, and taxes payable into one report. With RepairQ's new accounting settings, you can automate the process of classifying your transactions from RepairQ to your chart of accounts, giving you the tools you need to set it and forget it. Let's head over to your reports. You'll see a new report under Accounting called Journal Entries. The Journal Entry Report produces a line for each debit or credit to an account. You can filter by date range and location and have the option to show ticket ID, inventory item ID, and transaction ID. From here, you can export to a CSV file or an Excel file, depending on your accounting software requirements. Now let's take a look at how to line up your chart of accounts. Head over to Settings, scroll down to the Other section, and click on the New section, Accounting. This is where you match each accounting event in Repair Queue with the appropriate account from your chart of accounts. In most cases, you only need to specify these accounts once, 
but there are options for more specific classification. You can classify specific accounts by item type, catalog item, payment method, and even by location. The QuickBooks Online integration extends the RepairQ accounting journal feature. With RepairQ's QuickBooks Online integration, users of QuickBooks Online can simplify the accounting process further by automating the export and import of daily journal entries. Daily journal entries are sent to your QuickBooks Online account on a nightly basis. In addition, an on-demand tool is available to send journal entries from RepairQ to your QuickBooks Online account for a specified date range and location. Now let's walk through the integration setup. Head over to your settings and click on integrations. You'll see a new QuickBooks Online button. Click that. Then select the Connect QuickBooks button. If you're not logged into your QuickBooks Online account, you'll be prompted to do so. If you do not have a QuickBooks Online account yet, you must first sign up for QuickBooks Online. Then click the Authorize Repair Queue button. Upon success, you will be redirected back to the QuickBooks Integration Settings page to complete your setup. RepairQ uses classes to match transactions with each location. If you don't have classes set up in your QuickBooks Online account, follow the directions to enable them. If you do have classes set up in QuickBooks Online, pair each location you manage in RepairQ with a class. Here you will pick which account from your QuickBooks Online chart of account belongs with each transaction type – sales, cost of goods, etc. With the QuickBooks Online integration enabled, all journal entry classification settings will pull a list of accounts from your QuickBooks Online account for you to select from. It's important to note that if you set up journal entry classifications before enabling the integration, you should update all of your classifications to ensure they are classified properly. Click Save Classifications once you have them input. Now we will configure Error Notifications Delivery. Select which staff members to notify when there's a problem with the nightly journal entry deliver to your QuickBooks Online account. When there's a problem, you can use the journal entry report to resend journal entries for the date that had problems. You can select multiple users if you'd like. Then save. Now I'll head back over to the journal entry report to demonstrate how to resend it if there is a problem. Filter the dates however you like in the location and click Send to QuickBooks. A little pop-up will come up asking you, are you sure? This will replace all journal entries from RepairQ for the filter, date, range, and location. Select OK, and it resends it. The RepairQ point of sale is receiving many improvements over the upcoming months, including many features designed to reduce the amount of time it takes to process tickets. This release introduces two new features designed to reduce the time it takes to sell an item and reduce the time it takes to take a cash payment. Now, you don't need to click anything to sell an item on a ticket. When using a barcode scanner, the item will be added to the ticket automatically, and you don't even need to focus on the ticket item search box first. Simply start a new ticket, scan a barcode, and watch as it's added to the ticket. If an item is backordered, you'll receive a notification that the item is backordered, prompting you to remove it if it doesn't need to be in the ticket or continue on as usual. If you scan an item that's not in your catalog or inventory, you'll receive an item not found pop-up. Now you can take cash payments with a single click using the new quick cash buttons. Based on the balance due, RepairQ will select each possible cash combination that your customer might pay with and suggest them. Simply click the button for the bill or bills they hand you and then you're done booking the payment. We have a balance due of $113.45 and RepairQ is suggesting these options. Simply click the button and you're done. And that was it for all the awesome features in RepairQ Release 1.13. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us at support at or look for the release email being sent to you later today.